Chapter 3 Architectural Modeling Structural Grid Step 1 Creating a New Structural Grid Columns, Beams, and Dimensions In this chapter you are going to create two local structural grids which partly overlap each other. These will help you in adding design elements to the project later. Double click on the convenient preset view in the navigator. Activate the Design Grid System command. The settings of the grid can be customized as needed in the appearing dialog box. In the General Settings panel of the dialog, select the Orthogonal Grid option for geometry. The Elements at Gridline Intersections option allows you to create columns or objects at gridline intersections. Choose Column to add columns at every axis intersection point of the structural grid. Click the Dimension Lines option to place dimension units between all intersection points. In the field to the right, define the value of the dimension position as 3. In the Grid Elements panel, set the extension of the grid elements to 5. Select the top right corner as the anchor point and choose the right and the top sides of the grid to place markers. In order to define the axis numbering system, go to the Naming Rules panel. Choose the Generate Names Automatically option and set A, B, C and Down for the horizontal axis and 1, 2, 3 and left for the vertical axis. Next, open the Grid Positions panel and set value A to 5 meters in the Horizontal Grid Lines settings. Hit the plus button four times to create six horizontal grid lines. Next, use the minus button to remove the unnecessary vertical grid lines. Set the number of grid lines to 2. Define the distance of the vertical grid lines to 5.47 meters. Before creating the structural grid on the floor plan, the settings of the columns and dimensions that will be placed with the grid must be defined. You don't have to deal with the tool settings. Just use the stored favorites containing the parameters and attributes needed for the tools. In the General Settings panel, Open the Column Settings and choose Column 1 in the Favorites. Click the Apply button and close the Settings dialog by hitting OK. Open the Dimension Line Settings dialog as well. Open the Favorites list and choose the Dimension 1 Favorite. Hit Enter to close the Settings dialog. In the Grid System Settings dialog, Set Structural Grid for Layer. Everything is now set for the grid, so hit OK. The ghost form of the grid appears on the screen. A white pencil cursor indicates the anchor point for placing the grid. Click Point 1 to define the anchor point, and click once more on the appearing horizontal guideline to the left to define the direction of the first grid system.